Hello everyone and welcome to the sixth annual Under Blue Skies Golf Classic and Party. Our first though, online virtual party. Number one, there's no such thing as a first annual. That's, if you ever see that, that's just not right grammatically. It's not right the way this goes. But, but more importantly, we hope this is the only online virtual party we ever have to do because we hope next year we are doing this in person. My name is Bob Ballou. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, this is a really special event. This is a special uh, event for all of us who are involved in this because we wanted to do something a little unique and a little different and hopefully a little cool. I know a lot of you guys are hopping on this call right now and you're maybe trying to get your TVs adjusted, your volume adjusted, all those kind of things, getting the technical aspects of all this down. Um, so we'll give you a few seconds to do that. In the meantime, I just wanted to explain why we're doing what we're doing um, and how this is gonna go down. So first and foremost, we don't know of anyone else doing something like this and we wanted to do this because we couldn't meet in person. We have all these, uh, this, this great gathering we had planned at BMW of Austin this year. Um, and we couldn't make it happen, obviously, because of coronavirus. Thanks a lot, Rona. Thanks a lot, 2020. Going well so far. Uh, really appreciate that. But in the meantime, um, this is a really, we thought this was a good way for us to get really small groups uh, together to celebrate together. Um, if you're not on the Zoom call and you're having a party right now, all you got to do is on a separate device from what you're watching this, just go to join.belugolf.com. Join.belugolf.com. Hop in our Zoom room. We're actually going to check in on our Zoom room here in just a few minutes. And the reason we're gonna do that is we wanna tell you guys where this is happening. We have people all over the country involved in this. We have people in Northern California. We have people in Chicago. We have people in New York. We have people down in Florida. We have people in Hawaii. We have people in St. Louis. This is happening all over the country and you may not see them on the Zoom call, but a lot of them are online uh, participating in this. So thank you to everyone who is here. Thank you for all of you who are trying to get all this set up. I know this was a little bit complicated. We had a couple different links and a couple different places we wanted you to go, but we wanted you to be able to see what we're doing. So can we check in on our Zoom calls and see how we're doing? I know there aren't a lot of parties that have hopped on the Zoom call just yet, but we wanted to show you there are people, including my daughter, I believe, who is on our Zoom call. Uh, hi, Berkeley. Hope you can hear me. Hope everything's going well at home. Uh, but and, and you look precious. You're just perfect. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, but we're so happy that all of you could join us on this Zoom call. How cool is this? We have parties all over Twin Creeks. We have parties all over Austin and all over the state of Texas as we try to raise some money tonight uh, for our ALS patients and for ALS research. And that's the reason we're here. So many of you that participated in the golf tournament today, how about the rain? Our meteorologist, uh, Avery Tomasco, played in the tournament and basically said right before it got to Avery Ranch, it just split. It got to Williamson County and the storm split. Uh, listen, those things don't just happen. We got very lucky today. We're very blessed. Uh, we throw an incredible uh, event at, at Avery Ranch. We're thankful to them for, for being involved, but, but most importantly, we're thankful for, uh, for that rain staying away from us today. So as you know, if you were there, you go to bid.belugolf.com. Again, bid.belugolf.com, and you click the Start button in the upper right-hand corner. You're gonna be able to get onto this and register, get your credit card information in, and you can certainly go onto the online auction, but here in a little bit, we're gonna do our fun to cure And our fun to cure is very, very important to us, and we're gonna, we're gonna introduce you to our honoree, Todd Myers, uh, 32 years in the Austin Police Force, uh, two years as an investigator out of that, and he was diagnosed with ALS in 2018. He's battling. Uh, we hope he's online with us tonight because we love you, Todd. We can't wait to tell your story. We can't wait for everybody to hear your story and, um, and get a chance to really understand who you are, what you're about, and why we're doing what we're doing and why, why we're so passionate about it. So the first thing that we want to do, though, is kind of explain a little bit more about ALS. And to do that, I wanted to explain what my story is involving the ALS Association. Everybody would always ask me, how are you affected by ALS? What was your, uh, you know, how, how did, who did you know? What part of your family did this happen? Uh, literally no one. I, I've never known anyone uh, who had ALS before 2008 or 2009. And my old friends at Ken's Five, Joe Reinagle and Bill Taylor had, had been a little bit involved with ALS there. And they asked me to host a kickoff party here in, San, in uh, Austin at Dave and Buster's. And so I did it for, it was like an hour in July. And so I did that for a couple of years. Then they, I, I kept saying kind of, what more can I do? And they said, well, would you be willing to MC our walk? And I said, yeah, absolutely. Again, it's like two hours in October. There wasn't a whole lot I was doing. I just felt like I was showing up for these events and, uh, and not really making the impact I wanted to make. And so finally I, just, I kept bugging people. You guys know how I am, I keep bugging people. And uh, in late 2013, they told me if I could apply for the ALS board uh, across the state of Texas. And I sent my application in and they accepted me. But then they told me I had to raise $1,500 and I'd never fundraised, I had never done anything like that. And I was, I was kind of overwhelmed to be quite honest with you because $1,500 sounded like a lot of money and it, and it is. 
Um, and so we hosted a golf tournament in 2016. It was our first ever uh, under Blue Skies Golf Classic out at Twin Creeks. We did it for the first four years on a Monday. And we raised a lot of money that first year at $14,000 and I was overwhelmed. And it just kept ballooning and ballooning and ballooning because of a lot of great people. And, uh, and, and last year at this event, we raised $158,000. We moved it to a Friday, as, as many of you know who were part of this, we moved it to a Friday and then we had the party Friday night. And it was just amazing. And that's why we wanted to do this. That's why we wanted to have this party on Friday night. So here's a little bit about our mission at ALS Association of Texas and why we're doing what we're doing. Nobody survives ALS. And so we need to find a cure as fast as we can. Being engaged in a clinic team that's supportive of research really helps to facilitate the big picture or the vision of trying to get drugs through trials and move research forward to find a cure. The multidisciplinary clinic is designed to be a one-stop shop. Rather than a patient having to go to 10 different providers for care to address all their different needs, we actually facilitate that by having patients come to one place and see all of those specialists in one location in one afternoon. So by the end of the day, the patient has had all their needs met in a way that they couldn't if you spread it out over several weeks. Even patients with insurance sometimes can't afford to purchase equipment, and a lot of equipment isn't covered by insurance. And so to have access to loan bank equipment reduces a tremendous burden financially on our patients. I need something, I don't worry. I call and they deliver. Not only with the answer, they come to your door. So you don't feel alone. They also provide support groups. So a lot of our patients feel very isolated, very desperate. And so by attending support group meetings, they learn a lot about how to cope with their disease. They develop incredible friendships with other patients and families. Basically, this became family to us. When you're in the situation, you know, it just means so much. It doesn't have to be this scary, dark entity in your life. It's made a world of difference, not just the equipment or clinic, the support. The greatest need is for people to understand how they can be of significant help as we on the front line take care of patients every day of the week with ALS. I'm not going anywhere. I have a voice, I have a um, agenda and I'm excited to show you why this is important and why this is going to make a difference, if not for me, then for someone else. ALS doesn't stop and neither do we. Could we have said that better for what 2020 has been so far, for what coronavirus has done to all of us? Listen, we've all been sitting inside. We've all been having to hunker down and wear masks and do all these things across our, our lives for the last three and a half months. But you have to remember, and this goes for all charities, but it's been a struggle. ALS, patients don't get to stop. They don't get to put their lives on hold just because coronavirus came. And so that's what, again, why we're here tonight, why we're doing what we're doing. I completely uh, am so thankful for all of you that are here but we, we forgot to do something we were gonna do at the very beginning here, and I wanna do it right now, I wanna make a toast. So everybody that's listening, everybody that's watching this, grab, grab your glass, um, and, and I just wanna toast, first and foremost, uh, Todd Myers. We are so thankful and so proud to know Todd, um, and we wanna to toast Todd and say, um, we're all here, we all support you, um, and then we wanna thank our sponsors and we wanna to toast them. So first and foremost, everybody, thank you, appreciate it. Cheers. But just as important are our sponsors. We want to get to them. We want to tell you all about them as well. So this all starts up front, first and foremost, this year with the Quaid Group. Uh, Buddy and Mary L. Quaid jumped on board with us because they are close to Todd. They are good friends with Todd. Um, and Todd's a very special person in their life. So we're, th we're so thankful for Buddy and Mary L. and everything they're doing for this tournament this year. They stayed on board with us. Uh, and, and look, there's a lot going on. Uh, with coronavirus the last three and a half months. And when we postponed this in April, uh, it was tough on all of us. And so we're so thankful to Buddy and Marielle and the Quaid Group for staying on board with us. We're also 
incredibly thankful to, to the Cobb Mechanical. Uh, Brian and Cammy, and um, Chris and Megan and Tim and Mary Cobb are just the best people. They're the salt of the earth. We're so thankful for them. They've been on board with us since day one, six years ago. And so thank you to the Cobb Mechanical and everything that you've done to make this tournament the big success it's becoming. I want to thank a few more people. Our CBS Austin, our media sponsor, uh, as I said this morning, not entirely sure how we got on board with them. Uh, but thank you to Amy Villarreal, to Rob Cartwright, and to Jeff Barker and Anthony Hieronimo, and everyone else at our station. Steve Harris did an unbelievable job getting the Yeti Cups for the golfers this morning. We had some unbelievable things. So, th so thank you to everybody at CBS Austin for all that you do. FD2S and Curtis Roberts. Curtis and Michelle have become a big part of this event as well. Thank you for hosting a party tonight. Thank you for being a part of our event. And thank you for your contributions to the ALS community. James McKinney at Waterloo Plastering. Man, love me some James McKinney. Uh, he gave me a golf ball today that I can't tell you what it says because of FCC rules. Oh, wait, no, I can't. It doesn't matter. We're not. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to tell you what it said. But he's a bad man. He's a bad man. I'll tell you that. Uh, and Land West Design Group for hopping on board with us this year. Thank you to you. Revis Goldstein LLP as well. Uh, John and Nicole Rivas are just unbelievable people. They hosted a party for us, a kickoff party back in February. January or February? January. Uh, but either way, uh, it's been a while. Look, we've all been through a lot in the last six months. Uh, but, but thank you to John and Nicole for everything that you're doing. I uh, want to run through a few more sponsors, if you'll, if you'll let me just real quick. FBR Management hopped on board with us again, and, and we're so thankful to, to Max Moreland and everybody at FBR Management for everything that you do for us. Um, thank you to you, AMD, uh, Alex Chonlock, and Bryce Powell. Uh, thank you, Humana, Brock Perslow. Thank you to you, the Vaughn family, Jamie Vaughn, Reed Vaughn. You guys are amazing people, and you're doing amazing work for the ALS community. The Lewis family, Jen Lewis couldn't make it today, but her whole family, we th we're thinking about you guys, and thank you for, for your support of this event. Jen's dad uh, passed away of PLS, which is another form of ALS, and we're so thankful to Jen and her family for being a part of this, and we also honor her father every single year that we do this. So thank you to, uh, to Jen for all that you do. Uh, Life Last and Mark Verado, another big sponsor of ours. Uh, thank you to you, Justin Buchanan and Real Ale Brewing really came through this year, and we're thankful to Justin and Christy uh, Buchanan for all that you're doing for us. The Bonin family has become a big part of this event as well. Thank you to John uh, and your family for everything that you do. Marquee Tents, Juan Munoz, uh, thank you for everything you were going to do. He had a great setup at, at BMW of Austin, and it just didn't happen. Uh, but thank you to Juan for today for getting all the tents out to the golf course. And then Jay Houston and the Addison Group. I know Jay has a great party going on right now uh, there in Twin Creeks. Jay and Nikki Houston, thank you so much for all that you do to the Addison Group. Uh, I thank you so much for being a part of this event. And Ellen Sauer, uh, a good friend of Curtis Roberts, thank you for everything that you do. Okay, so thank you to your generosity. We have already raised more than $100,000 for this event. We're already over 100,000 and we are blown away by that. We do want to top last year somehow, some way. So we're going to try to get 60 more thousand tonight. Don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to ask you to help us try. And that's why we're doing this event um, to try to get up to a big number tonight. How are we going to do that? So as you may have seen today, if you're at the golf course, we had a wheelbarrow full of liquor. Uh, it was literally a wheelbarrow and it literally had a lot of liquor in it. We have raffle tickets for that. $25 for one, $100 for five. And if you win, we're going to announce that name on CBS Austin Monday night at six o'clock. So you'll really hopefully enjoy some of that. We also have a silent auction with some incredible items. We have some great golf. We have some great getaways and some great grub, uh, all the G's that you need. Uh, so we hope you'll go back to the website. Uh, the, the online auction continues to go on. Some of my favorite things, on, look, we've still got that Escondido package. If you haven't played Escondido, you gotta outbid someone to go do it because it's an unbelievable place. We also have the uh, VIP wine and dine with the heel of the boot, uh, the Austin, Texas Wine Society and Wanderlust for 10. So you can get 10 people once we calm down a little bit and get back out there. Uh, hopefully you guys can be a part of that. And Adele jumped on board with us today. Tim Kellner got us uh, a, a $750 putter that's on there now, as well as two $550 fittings where you can get your own putter as well. So thank you guys for everything that you're doing to make this possible. Um, you can bid until tomorrow night at five o'clock. Do you wanna make sure you know that? This bid uh, online auction will run through five o'clock tomorrow night and you can still bid until then. And again, all the money we're raising goes to the ALS Association of Texas. Now to get, to get a sense of why we're here, why we're doing this, why we're so passionate about it, um, I wanna to introduce Todd Myers. The Myers family's on our Zoom call. We're so happy to have you guys here. We're so happy to get to tell this story of Todd. Um, he's just such a, such a special person, such an amazing man. And if you're walking down the streets of Austin and you see a police officer, I think a lot, of, a lot of times some of us look at him and we're like, pretty good shape, good build. This dude was a rock. Uh, Todd's, Todd's just a, a huge, huge man, six degree black belt. Uh, he was an athletic man. And to see what he has accomplished in his life is truly incredible. 32 years on the Austin police force, two years as an investigator. 
He told me that his parents were the life of the party, that his mom and dad could sweep the room away. Uh, you just wanted to be around them. And I'm going to tell you now, you just want to be around Todd Myers. Let's, talk, let's tell his story. Here's Todd Myers. Todd Myers is always ready to go. Hey, let's get it on. <laughs> it wasn't on purpose, he quoted Marvin Gaye, but that's just his love for music shining through him. In fact, it's almost too hard for him to pick a favorite musician. Oh, yeah, oh, I'll be the Ohio players. Yeah, part of the fucking delegate, Bob Barley. Oh, yeah, I did a Chicago. Oh, I did uh, Gordon Lightfoot, uh, John Pride, uh, Bill Withers. He liked music thanks to his parents, but he fell in love with it for a much better reason. Like drums and like music and play instruments, girls. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I saw all my music buddies had a lot of girls, so I'm like, hey. Woo. Todd formed the band Funky Old Soul. Yeah, I love playing the 70s and 80s music. I love to look out the crowd and see like old person go, hey, that's my song, and get up and dance. His brother started Dysfunction Junction. And while music is a family tradition, so is protecting and serving. I've always been a uniform all my life. All my family, I've got six brothers, two sisters, six of us. They've been in law enforcement at a state level or a federal level. It's always like a calling and uh, I've always wanted to serve the humanity and mankind. For 32 years, Todd served at an elite level. Sometimes it was rough. And then I went until I got home and hugged my kids. I started, then I got scared. It wasn't until later in the evening that I started realizing what could happen to me. Yeah, I couldn't come home to my beautiful children. And then I got scared. But during the actual engagements, I wasn't, I wasn't afraid. It was like part of my training. Training took over. Sometimes it was hilarious. Yeah, one time on the way to the station, I had, we used to transfer prison to the front seat. And the prison would say, all right, Charlie 32, Call me out of Central Book and, and I keep a bike. I give it to him and I put it for the body. He goes, Charlie 32, call me out of Central Book and it is drunk boy, it is drunk voice. That dispatcher, they are all like, oh no. <laughs> so, you know, I, I used, I used to have my prisoners talk on my police radio for me. Sometimes it was a lesson. Patience and mankind. I, I mean, I mean I've, I've learned a lot of patience. I've dealt with a lot of different type of uh, people in society, but I, I've learned the most, uh, I've learned patience and, uh, and, and to not be judgmental. But even today, it's a blessing. I'm real proud of the police department. Re regardless of what you read or hear about in the media, the Austin Police Department is one of the best departments in the state. Hey, speaking of best in the state, the Dallas Cowboys won three Super Bowls in the early 90s, and they did so while training in Austin at St. Edwards. Maybe they should come back and get the same policemen that helped them win those three titles. I'd done security for them, so I got to beat all the guys. I, I got real close with, with a lot of the Cowboys. I worked security, so I was, oh yeah, so I, I was doing, you know, bodyguard stuff for them. So I, I came real close with Jerry Jones and his guys. Jimmy Johnson and Troy Aikman and Evan Smith and Michael Irving. All the guys, they do all the big guys. Todd left the force to work as an investigator for the district attorney. Two years later, it hit. Well, I was fighting in a batch. And I thought I injured my back. I was like, oh, I just got injured my back. So I went on and kept on fighting. And, and uh, then I said, my back wouldn't heal. So I started going to different doctors, chiropractors, about four or five different doctors. And uh, the last doctor looked up, saw my, my, my bus was jumping. And he sent me to Dr. Jackson in San Antonio. And from there, they, they figured, whoa, it looked like ALS. So that's when they actually diagnosed it as ALS. His ALS diagnosis was eerily similar to those terrifying nights on the police force. My first thoughts were, uh, am I gonna be cured? Am I gonna be around a couple years to see my, my grandchildren teach and ride bikes and my granddaughter to take her to the you know, father, grandfather, down her dad. So I consider myself her dad. And, uh, and uh, it's just, uh, am I gonna be around for my kids and my grandkids? And then right now, it's, uh, you know, uh, just I just want to live long. That's, that's it. I got selfish. No, he's far from selfish. It's the best thing that's going to keep you strong is your faith. 
that you're buying support from your friends you got to continue to fight because surrender is never in your it, it never should be in your blood so you should continue to fight there have been times i just want to give up hope and everything but i'm like i look at my beautiful kids and my beautiful grandkids and i'm like dog this is what i'm fighting for this is what i'm living for so never 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 say it's the end until that man upstairs is the one that say it's the end he let him be the judge as the battle for his and so many other lives continues, the ALS Association of Texas is right there beside them. Well, I think I always say they would drop from they would drop from the sky like, like Jesus. Jesus dropped them down. They have made it so easy. I, I love the people. They they done me so good. That be everything I need. They they get for me. I I've never gone without. You know they they've uh, they provided for me so much moral support equipment uh their smiles oh smiles yeah todd is still serving those too Let, let's let's talk about how handsome i am yes let's get the elephant off the table now you y'all two ladies back there y'all know i'm looking good don't you don't you y'all want to say oh you sure look good with that thing on your face <laughs> <laughs> well i mean the truth is the truth i've just uh been a happy life and a happy person Whew. Uh, <laughs> he'll never stop being a ladies man that's good to know the ladies love him uh, he can make you laugh and he can make you cry can't he um, he's just an amazing man and I'm, I'm so glad that first and foremost that Todd's mom and Tom's sis, uh, Todd's sister are on this call with us and, and watching this live because I hope you got to see again just what an unbelievable person Todd is and and um what he means to all of us, what he means to the ALS Association. And um, what I want you guys to do, I know, I know we did a toast a minute ago, but I want you to grab your drink. But what I want you to do is also grab your phone. And we're gonna try to, try to do something special here for Todd. We're gonna do something special for who? Ah, <laughs> oh, man, get choked up about him, huh? We're gonna try to do something special for him and uh, for our, uh, all our ALS patients across Texas. So we're gonna start at the $10,000 level um, and what $10,000 can do for you is, is support our ALS clinics. Um, that's where patients can see all their healthcare professionals in one place, get specialized care, improve their quality of life. Um, it's a real opportunity for them to, to get great care, to get um, everything that they need um, as they go through this. So that's our $10,000 level. I know, again, I say this every year, I know it's a big ask. Believe me, I know what that money means. Um, but but we just we feel like this is, is really important for us to, to start there at 10,000 and hope that that one of you is generous enough or two of you are generous enough to start at that level. We'll move down to the $5,000 level and at the $5,000 level you can fund support groups for ALS patients and their families um, and their children. Uh, this is an important level at $5,000 because um, this is <laughs> you think about what these patients go through what these families go through when they're first diagnosed, um, mo the majority of them are blindsided by this. And they, they, nobody sees this coming. And when it comes, it comes quick. I mean, this is, a, this is normally a three to five year ordeal. Uh, it's a three to five year, three to five years that, that you get to spend with your, your loved one. And they get to go to these support groups and help the family through it. Uh, think about the kids that have to go through this with their dad or their mom. Um, so that's our $5,000 level. And I'm gonna stop there because we already have some bids coming in. Um, which is amazing. Um, so I've got it. We've got a little board over here. So I'm gonna make sure I don't miss anybody. Um, at at $7,500, uh, Curtis and Michelle Roberts have donated $7,500 um, because of people um, like Todd Myers and and people that are going through what he's going through. So first and foremost, thank you to Curtis and Michelle. Um, that's an unbelievable amount of money and an unbelievable bid that you made. So thank you so much for that. Uh, at the $5,000 level, we've already got two bids at the $5,000 level. We want to thank Greg and Coletta Brown um, for all that you're doing for the ALS Association. You have a wonderful family. Uh, you have wonderful people in your family. And so we're thankful to you for doing that. Also, John and Nicole Rivas have donated $5,000. Thank you so much. You have no idea. You guys have no idea what this means <laughs> to, uh, to our patients and to the research and everything that's going on in the world today as we try to overcome uh, all this stuff that's happening to all of us. Um, again, like we said earlier, our ALS patients don't get to stop. So we just encourage you to continue to give. We're gonna go down to the $2,500 level because that can give you a Hoyer lift. 
And I know all of you sitting at home are going, oh man, a Hoyer lift. That's just what we need. We need more Hoyer lifts. I don't know what a Hoyer lift is either. It's a lift. And it helps an ALS patient get in and out of bed. That's it. Um, I, I don't, <laughs> it's the reality of this sometimes is really hard because you think about what that actually means. Um, Todd has a, has a lift to get him in and out of bed. That's one of the things he needs. That's one of the things he needs to get to go through his everyday life. And that $2,500 level will help more of our ALS patients get those lifts, uh, the Hoyer lift, as many of you now know, and I'm sure you'll never forget. Um, but that's at that, at that $2,500 level. At the $1,000 level, you can provide educational workshops and resources for people that have ALS and for their families. Um, again, that's where this all starts. We start with um, the education part of it because your family's getting ready to go through this, and $1,000 will get you uh, to that level. So we do have a couple of more, uh, a couple more of these that, we, that we're going to uh, just kind of announce as we go here. Uh, I know some of you are still on the app trying to get on, trying to, trying to donate on the Fundacure app. Um, thank you so much for doing what you're doing. Thank you for listening to this, and, and thank you for all you're doing. At $1,500 level, we have Alan. And Alan, I'm so, th so grateful for that $1,500 level. Thank you so much for your donation. And at $1,000, we have Earl. Uh, Earl, thank you for, so much for that $1,000 donation because all of this is what makes this go. This is all what, what we're trying to do tonight. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jake Newman, $1,000. Let me dance while I cry. Uh, thank you guys, uh, $1,000 level for Jake Newman. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Curtis Roberts, another $500. We'll just bump you up to eight. My friend, uh, $500 level for Curtis Roberts. Thank you so much. We want to move down to that, um, to that $500 level because the $500 level, you can provide financial grants to people with ALS to cover the overwhelming expenses associated with the disease. And this is another level, these last three levels we're gonna hit, and I, I kinda wanna hit them all at once, and there's a reason. The $250 level, you can provide a wheelchair for a person that has ALS and can no longer walk. That's $250. It provides another wheelchair for someone who can't walk. Um, it's, it's amazing. So um, that's the $250 level, and then the $100 level could provide hope that one day we can create the world without ALS. And I wanna stop here for a reason. That 500, 250, 100, all the way down, those of you who were in that room last year and you met Laura Weiss and Fritz had his arm around her and she couldn't talk. She had to do it through her computerized voice. And we saw Laura standing there courageously telling her story. Some of the, some of the ALS patients, it affects their, their voice and they can't use their voice anymore and they have to use the computerized voice like Laura does. Some of them, we get Todd <laughs> and we get Todd's jokes and his, his laugh and his smile. And that's what he wants. He wants to provide that laugh and smile for us. And, uh, and that's why I've got to, I got to bring this all together because come on, man. I mean, that's what Todd wants. Todd wants us to laugh. He doesn't want us to cry. Um, so I just remember last year in that room at the $250 level and the $100 level, quite literally every single person in that room raised their, their paddle. And it was such an emotional moment that just to see Laura, to see what she's going through and to see all of you donate in that moment, um, so that's what we're asking right now. Somewhere in that 1,000, 500, 250, 100, whatever you feel like you can give um, for people like Todd Myers, for our ALS patients, and for ALS research, uh, thank you. And, uh, and thank you for all that you're doing. Brock Perslow just donated $500. Thank you, Brock. Um, and I know some of these bids will be a little bit delayed just because of computer systems and, and all of those things, but we're so thankful to all of you um, for everything that you're doing. So. Thank you, we will continue this fund to cure. Our online auction goes until tomorrow night at five. Um, as you continue to donate, we will still announce a few of these names because we're so excited about it. Um, but this goes until tomorrow night at five. You can donate as a part of the fund to cure until then, as well as the online auction with all the items that we have there that are, that are just uh, pretty amazing. We have, some, we have some pretty amazing stuff. Um, and, I, and, and while we have this quick uh, little breather here, I want to thank our committee because our committee is what who puts all of this together. They do everything that they do for us. Um, and so I want to run through some of these people so you know who they are um, and you understand what goes into putting together a tournament like this and an event like this. Thank you to Zinda Bennett, uh, to Sean Clinch, to Justin and Christy Buchanan, uh, to Cami Dato, Jen Lewis, Matthew McDowell, um, Marshall Nelson, uh, Kelly, Nicole Rivas, Curtis Roberts, Jamie Vaughn. All of you have done so much to make this tournament possible. And we're so grateful to you and grateful to who you are and what you're doing. Um, thank you for that. We just had another $1,000 bid come in from Nikki Houston. Nikki, thank you so much. Uh, 
as I read these names off, I'm just going to, it's like I'm going to lose it. Like I'm just, I can't even, uh, I can't even deal with it. So um, thank you for your donations as they continue to come in. Thank you to Kristen McLaugh McLaughlin for uh, a $500 donation. And, um, huh? <laughs> Jamie Vaughn. Come on, Jamie. Why are you trying to make me cry? Uh, Jamie Vaughn just donated $2,500. Uh, you guys are awesome. So thank you for all of these as they continue to come in. And um, as we wrap this up, I know it's been 30 minutes. I told you guys 30 minutes. Uh, we still have more bids coming in. We'll get those in before we go. We also want to check back in on the parties. But I have to say a huge thank you to a few people before we go. I have to say thank you to Fortune Horse. They're the video and, and production company that helped us put all this together to do an online event like this, um, a one night only event uh, to do something like this. So thank you to Fortune Horse. Thank you to Kevin Dooley. Holy moly, without Kevin, this wouldn't even have happened. Um, Kevin put all of this together in terms of video, uh, the equipment here in the backyard, uh, doing all of this online uh, with, com combined with Fortune Horse. Guys, these two people were, were so instrumental in what we're doing to make this happen. So thank you to Kevin and, and thank you to Fortune Horse. Um, don't forget, again, you can bid till tomorrow night at seven, or tomorrow night at five, and it funds everything that we're doing with ALS and the ALS Association of Texas. This is not something that was on our, our list of thank yous and list of people we had to go through. We were so many people who helped put this together, but to Ann Dooley and to Michelle Miller, for everything that you do to make this happen. Uh, Michelle and I have worked on this tournament now for five years together and we just continue to grow it. Um, you guys who have been a part of this know Michelle, you know what's going on um, in terms of how we put this together and how we've made this uh, really grown this event. So Michelle, Michelle's been standing here giving me all these, uh, these numbers and some of the, the things tonight. So thank you to Michelle. Uh, thank you to Ann who's taking in uh, a lot of the, the bids right now. Um, and thank you to all of you for making this happen. We do want to check in one more time on that Zoom call and see how you guys are doing. We do, we do want to make one more toast before we get out of here um, and say thank you to all of you uh, for, for what you're doing, for putting these parties together uh, in this last week, a uh, couple weeks, to do something like this for us, to do something like this. Some of my friends just doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Um, like I said, all over the country watching this, thank you. I cannot begin to thank you enough for what you're doing, for making this happen, um, and for making this a something special that we hope the rest of the ALS associations across the United States can see and something that they want to be a part of and do something similar. Um, we promised you 30 minutes. We're right at the end of the 30 minute marker. We had a couple more thank yous we wanted to get in from donations. Um, Nandini uh, Kandala donated $500. Thank you so much for that. And Brian Morrow donated $250. These will continue to come in, and I'm sorry we can't get to all of them as we, uh, as we go through this because we're just kind of out of time and we need to let you guys get back to your parties. Um, but thank you so much. Buy raffle tickets, go back online to bid on the auction. Um, you can, you can uh, still do the fun to cure until tomorrow night at five o'clock. Um, thank you for all that. Uh, thank you for all of you who got it hopped on Zoom. I know I said my daughter in, in, in Berkeley, but we listen to this. Uh, Buddy Quaid hopped on with us. Buddy, I hope your party's going great. I hope y'all are having a blast. Uh, and all of you, as we do this, raise your glasses again one more time as we have a toast on the way out. Buddy Quaid, uh, Brady Goodwin hopped on, uh, Josh Kaufman, my best friend from my childhood, jumped on this call. Thank you, Josh. To the Vaughn family for everything you've done. My wife, Kesley. Oh my gosh, Kesley, I love you so much. Thank you for letting us do this, for uh, trusting me to be smart about my social distancing this morning. Uh, and everything that you do in my life to make this happen and letting me work on this the way I work on work. Uh, thank you for that. I'm so, I love you so much and I'm so thankful to you. Uh, Nikki Houston and Brock Perslow for throwing these parties and hopping on our Zoom call as well. Um, thank you guys. So cheers, we're gonna, we're gonna do one last toast, one more cheers to you guys. Thank you for doing this. We will have a final number coming up uh, early next week because again, the online auction goes until tomorrow. Um, Pat Myers. Uh, Todd's brother is going to take us out. Dysfunction Junction is going to play a little bit for us. They have this. Just stay on the call. Turn up your, your volume. You've heard me babble enough. Uh, but, but listen to Dysfunction Junction. As I said, Pat, they started uh, Dysfunction Junction, and, and Todd started Funky Old Soul. And the, the two of them have made people so happy with their 70s and 80s music for all this time. So thank you to all of you for what you've done. Um, and, and here's Dysfunction Junction. Uh, we love you guys. And I, I love you guys so much, and I'm so grateful for all of you. So cheers, have a wonderful night at your party, and enjoy Dysfunction Junction. Hello, everyone. This is Magnum from the band Dysfunction Junction in Austin, Texas. Thanks for having us here. Uh, we really wish we could be here with you all. 
this evening, but as you know, because of COVID, uh, we're having to play it safe and no one can make it, including my camera crew. So I'm shooting this from my phone in my home and hope you enjoy it. And I definitely want to give a major, major thank you to everyone who's supporting tonight. And I do want to say that um, my older brother has been affected and is living with ALS. Um, he is a wonderful person, full of life still, and one of the greatest influences for me musically and as a person, and also just that style that we have in my family. So I hope you enjoy the music. If you're hearing your wrong notes or bad lyrics, that's just the way I like so, to do it. Let's call the bag and dysfunction junction. Thank you. It's safe to say that life's been good to me. And I get so tired of fighting in this struggle to be free. Now I wonder why I'm still here paying dues. I'm just trying to make a living. But you know, we all get the blues. You gotta give me good music. Cause I'm feeling down. Give me a couple of beers, maybe I'll come around. Catch me a good buzz under a Texas sky so high. Don't you let another good day pass you by.
lot of trains in Memphis Worked a lot of trains down in New Orleans But I never saw a good side of the city Till I used to ride on a riverboat queen Big wheels keep on turning Proud never keep on So I can get it right this time. This song's called Stand Out Even Mr. Benny King. One of my favorites. When the night is cold and the land is far and the mountains, damn it. Wait. The mountains. Take whatever for a song called Stand By Me by Mr. Benny King, one of my favorites. When the night is dark and the land is far and the mountains creep crumble to the sea. Cry, I won't cry. No, I won't be afraid. Just alone as you stand, stand by me. So, darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand now, stand by. Stand 
stand by me, stand by me. If the sky we look upon should come rolling and fall, and the mountains slip softly to the sea, or something like that, I won't cry. No, I won't shed one tear just as long as you stand, stand by me. So darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand now, stand by me. Stand by me. Stand by me, stand by me. Whenever you're in trouble, won't you stand by me? Stand now, stand by me, stand by me, stand by me, stand by me. So darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand now, stand by me, stand by me, stand by. Something like that. <laughs>
black belly clouds in the rain She through the doorway She brings me white golden pearls Stolen from the sea She's raging She's raging And a storm blows up in her eyes She will suffer the needle chill Have a great evening. Thank you. A huge thank you to Dysfunction Junction, to Todd Myers, our honoree, and the entire Myers family, and to all of you for joining us. Thank you so much for being a part of the sixth annual Under Blue Skies Golf Classic and Party. We'll see you in 2021.